Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Cards. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Hey, Donna. Hey, Paula. Hopefully, our technical difficulties have left us. Um, we're going to start all over. Here's our St. Patrick's Day card that we're going to be working on. We're going to, I'm going to show you how to make that four-leaf clover. And my tip for the day is don't, if you got a piece of paper, try it. Say, say I always save the bigger pieces because you never know what little scraps you're gonna be able to get from them. Can you guys hear me okay? Maybe, maybe not. I hope so. Good morning, Betty. Okay, so happy fifth birthday to Paper Pumpkin this month. Hey, Becky. I'm not going to open this because I don't want to spoil it for those that haven't gotten theirs yet. Oh, I'm glad you can hear me now, Betty. Thank you. Um, but I can tell you I did open it, as you can see. Um, I'm kind of excited to put that together. Maybe I'll show you my creations next week. So we're going to work on this Celebrate card here. And I just remembered I forgot to get a piece of paper for something. So excuse my reaching. I uh, try not to shake the table too, too much. All right. myself a piece here while we're talking. Can everybody hear me all right now? I hope, hopefully the video will cooperate. Looks a little familiar, Becky. Very funny. All right, so here is our hostess code for the next week and a half. So if you need anything, let me know. I'll put it up here. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. So we're using the Teeny Tiny Wishes. That's where our St. Patrick's Day comes from. Say happy St. Patrick's Day. And then this is what we're going to use for our shamrock that we're putting on here. And I'll show you how to cut that. But first... We're going to be using our Stampin' Blends to make that celebrate, to make that ombre effect there. So how do we do that, you say? Well, we're going to take our three markers, our Stampin' Blends markers. The This is the, is that the dark? No, that's the light. The Daffodil Delight Light, the Old Olive Light, and the Old Olive Dark are the three that we're going to be watching. Morning, Vicki. So we're going to take the yellow and we're going to do the whole piece with the yellow. And because I cut the paper a little bit bigger, we don't have to worry about going end to end. The next one we're going to take is our light and we're going to do that about a third of that here and then we're going to take the dark and go the bottom third then we'll take the daffodil delight and we'll go over the whole thing now, this should look familiar to those that did 
the Stampin' Blends class because we did this. We'll take the medium to kind of blend in to give it a little bit more fluid look. And there we go. So we're gonna take this piece and our Celebrate and we're gonna die cut it out so that it looks like that. Just like magic. So there's our Celebrate. And we're going to take, this is actually this paper, which I thought was somewhat shamrock-ish. Close enough. Paula says hi and goodbye to everybody. She's gotta, she's gotta go, she can't make it the whole time. So say bye to Paula. Anyways, this is part of a 12 by 12 in color paper pack in the big book. And um, we'll be using this as just a trim piece for a little pattern. So we'll cut that and this has all five of those in colors. It's the Berry Burst, the Fresh Fig, Lemon Lime Twist, Powder Pink, and the Tranquil Tide is all those five in colors that will be staying in the new book. So this color palette is a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun with this Lemon Lime Twist, especially at Christmas time, I think. But anyways, so we're going to adhere our little um, panel for the Celebrate to sit on. But first, let's stamp our, we need our Garden Green and our Happy St. Patrick's Day. And we're going to stamp that. And I'm thinking that this is, that's probably a little fat. So we're gonna take this scrap piece and stamp it on there. Oh, wow, that's even more crooked than the first time I did it. Holy cow. So let's see if we can get a little straighter here. Well, that's a little bit better. Anyways, apparently I'm a, leaning a little to one side or the other today. All right, so we're gonna take this we're gonna flag this just a little. Concentrating. All right, and then we're gonna take our dauber and we're gonna darken up those edges. Just a little, maybe one in the middle. So we'll put that to the side and we're gonna take our, our flower punch and yeah, don't ask me what the name of it is because right now I am. Uh, Vicki said stamp a majig. Vicki, I would agree with you except for it's not on straight. So that's easier for the clear mounts, but I could have used, with the clear mount, I could have used the um, Stamparatus too. But because it's crooked, because it's crooked on the actual wood, I kind of try to do my adjusting, but I don't always get it right. So generally I would agree with you. All right, so we're gonna create our shamrock. So here's our four leaf clover right there. How do we, we wanna cut this off to make our stem. And we're going to try to do it in one fluid cut and then do again in one fluid cut so that it looks like it was meant to be that way. Ooh, not bad. All right. So there's our shamrock and we're going to adhere our celebrate with our fine tip glue. And you don't need a ton of glue. I do on the at the two corners and a couple pieces on the middle. 
It's not like it's gonna go through a windstorm or anything, so you don't have to go too, too crazy. The hardest part is getting the pin back in, even with the bifocals. Wow. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna put that more towards one side because we're gonna put some uh, some ribbon and stuff on the end. We're gonna take our old olive, just a little piece, and our twine here. We'll wrap our twine a couple times. And then to put in the piece, the small piece that I cut that's underneath here, um, make it easier on yourself, tie a knot. Tie a knot there, move your papers or your twine around here, stick this in there, and then tie another knot. Secure, simple, looks fancy, but not too difficult. That way then that's secure in there and all then you have to do is tie your little bow, which yeah, I know you're all groaning about the bow. And then there we go. There's our little twine. Now, this is the gold tinsel that's in the in the occasions book. I wanted to add a little bit of gold because, you know, gold coins and whatnot for the for St. Patrick's Day. So, how I did that is I used a couple of glue dots on the back. One up top, one down low, and then I just kind of looped it around. Not crazy, just a little. And that way then you can see it on the other side. And then we'll put dimensionals on here. Hey, Jenny, how you doing today? Welcome, glad you joined us. Yeah. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting those dimensional sheets off. Last week it was because of my I had my nails done. This week, definitely not the case. All right, so there's that. We'll fold our base. We'll put our celebrate in, just like that, with our touch of gold. We want one more dimensional. And I put it on the, the clover part. Wow. There we go. And you want to put it over enough that the St. Patrick's Day doesn't block the whole clover. That was the problem with the first one. I think I didn't put it over far enough. We'll put the St. Patrick's Day here. And there is our St. Patrick's Day card. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Any questions? I'm gonna take another swig of coffee while I'm waiting to see if you guys have any questions. Any questions about hostess codes or 
Um, anything that we did on our card today? If not, thanks, Donna. I'm glad you liked it. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me, as always. I appreciate it. And happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Have a great day getting crafty. Bye.